now I've got my memories Always inside of me But I can't go back Back to how it was I believe you now I've come too far No, I can't go back Back to how it was Created for a place I've never known This is home So home, what is home? Or more importantly, what is home to you? You know, I recently moved um, from a lifelong home in Pennsylvania and um, to this little town of Jackson, Kentucky. This is where I now call home. I made to move, but the rest of my family is still scattered here and there. But, you know, I guess that's kind of the new normal. You know, um, families just do this pretty much everywhere. We communicate through Skype and text and um, FaceTime, whatever it takes just to um, keep in communication with our families. As I prepared to talk to you today, I was looking through some scriptures and stuff to kind of back up what I wanted to talk to you about, and I found 33 different passages referring to this world and how it's not my home. You know, I guess I never really thought of it that way. You know, some of the scriptures that I reflected upon as I was, was looking through them was one was said to be apart from the body would be present with the Lord. And, um, you know, another one, it said, I go to prepare a place for you, and in my house is many rooms, and I wouldn't tell you this if it wasn't true. That's not a home that's anywhere close to here. 
You know, one that really stuck out to me as I was reflecting upon these was Hebrews chapter 13. It said, for this home is really not our home, but we are looking forward to a home yet to come. You know, speaking of home, you know, recently um, I made a trip back to what I used to call home, to Pennsylvania, to pick up some farm machinery for a little place that we're working on down here. Um, We refer to it as Happy Acres. And um, along that trip, um, as we were preparing and loading the equipment, a friend of mine and myself, um, I got a call from an old pastor friend. John Cook was the fellow's name. You know, and and just to give you a little pre-runner to that, John is a believer. He's a pastor, uh, or shall I say he was a pastor in uh, Pennsylvania. It was a guy I worked with in the past. And, um, you know, we had one thing in common, for sure, is we knew Jesus Christ as our Savior, and we knew where our home would be once we leave this earth. You know, we didn't always see eye to eye on things, but, you know, as I took his call this day, it was kind of out of the ordinary, but John invited me to a campground to come over, as he called it, burn some dogs with him. So, uh, you know, we spent the evening with him in some good Christian fellowship with some other people. And, um, you know, as I brought that equipment back down to Kentucky, I soon got a call after I got back here that John and his wife were uh, out enjoying a motorcycle ride on, a, on an early, I believe it was a Saturday morning. And uh, John was taken from this world, you know, just that quick. You know, he's there and he's in your presence and then now he's gone. You know, there's, there's a lot of sadness and mourning, I'm sure, mostly from his family. But, you know, as I reflect back on what John was to this world and what he brought to this world, he knew that no matter where he lived, whether he would be staying in a camper in order to bring the gospel to lose in that town that he lived in, um, or wherever it was, but he knew that his home was not of this world. You know, guys, I guess I have to ask, you know, we don't know when we're going to leave this earth. You know, we don't know when our last moment's going to be. But just as John was thinking, he was ready. You know, he knew where his home lied. And so I got to ask you this morning, or whenever you listen to this, where is your home? What do you call home? You know, home is a place that we're going to. That's a place that we go back to. You know, we're not really from this world, as the scriptures told us. You know, these, at least the 33 different ones that I read, um, we're aliens here. You know, and we, some people really get homesick. You know, they want to be, as they travel around, they want to be where they were before, and they just can't be settled and at peace. I guess, in a way, and, and I'm sure there's a couple of you out there that, are, that do know me, and they're saying, uh-huh, I thought, I thought so, Jason. You're homesick, aren't you? Well, I am, but it's not for Pennsylvania. You know, I'm homesick that, that I'm ready to go be with my father. So if you were to die today, where would you go? Would you go home to be with your original creator? Well, you know, if you'd like to, to learn more about that, about what it means to have um, eternal security with Jesus Christ, you know, reach out to us at uh, thehappychurch.org or uh, message us on Facebook or whatever means that you use uh, to communicate. But we love you guys, and uh, we want to be there for you. And... Um, help lead you through that process. So until we meet again, or if we don't meet again, I'll see you at home. Love you guys. See you soon.